Welcome back from lunch. My name is On Barak. I'm a historian at the uh, Department for Middle Eastern and African History here across the hall. And I will be your captain for this panel, Violence and the More Than Human. And uh, based on uh, the previous panel, I will also be a more uh, rigorous time cop and uh, prevent slash channel the violence of the clock, personify it with these uh, slips of paper and uh, police the 20 minutes per paper uh, to allow us for a fruitful conversation afterwards. So without further ado, our first paper is delivered via Zoom by Joan Oravec. Uh, Joan is a full professor in the, co uh, in the College of Business and Economics at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, the Department of Information Technology and Supply Chain Management, as well as the Hall Center for Science and Technology Studies, UW-Madison. Her publications include Good Robot, Bad Robot, Dark and Creepy Sides of Robotics, AI, and Autonomous Vehicles, published by Springer, and Virtual Individuals, Virtual Groups, Cambridge University Press, um, she was the first chair of the Privacy Council of the state of Wisconsin. She was a visiting fellow at both Oxford and Cambridge. And the title of her paper is Robots, AI, and Violence, Intelligent en Entities as Symbols of and Triggers for Human Aggression. The floor is yours. Thank you so much for your kindness in setting this up. And uh, don't be afraid to uh, tell me when that 20 minutes is up because I tend to uh, talk a lot. So uh, again, as I said in my introduction uh, a couple of hours ago, uh, I'm interested in robots and AI and autonomous vehicles, drones, all sorts of intelligent entities that are being used in violent capacities. Now I teach robotics, I teach AI, I teach a supply chain management. So many of my students are developing these technologies. So I'm torn in so many different ways because I see these opportunities to work with the military. I see opportunities to work with security uh, firms. And I wonder, should I be directing my students toward those opportunities or engage myself? Um, I'm also a, a part of the whole Center for Science and Technology Studies, which has been informing me in so many different ways about the social science and the humanities aspects of all of this. And here I will need your help because you are so much more uh, in tune with these uh, amazing human enterprises, humanities and social science that I am. So uh, again, I, I teach the, the, the stuff and I will be reflecting some of my technological perspectives I ran this through ChatGPT. Some of you have been playing with this generative AI tools, or at least your students have. I was writing about, I, I, I asked ChatGPT G, Chat GPT about uh, robotics and violence in my, my style, and I came up uh, with uh, a bunch of material that I won't bore you with, but it ended with, we need to be aware vigilant and responsible in our engagement with robotics so that we can avoid violence and promote peace. So I decided to let the AI speak. We've been letting these uh, entities speak uh, that uh, perhaps have, uh, um, uh, that are not ourselves, that have uh, uh, the, the uh, status of the other. And so we shall uh, again uh, let uh, AI speak in a number of different ways during this talk. Uh, the, uh, the new technologies, the generative uh, AI technologies are being integrated into robots. You're going to be seeing them into, in robots, in cars. So these very powerful AI technologies that are, a lot of people are worrying about are going to be part of our everyday lives very shortly. Now, in all this, we have Microsoft and other organizations dumping their AI ethics teams. Okay, so if you wonder why I'm involved, that's another reason why I'm involved, filling the gaps here, um, trying to do, a, do some grassroots work in AI ethics and robotics ethics with my students, and of course with the Wisconsin uh, research teams in this regard. Uh, it's, fright it's, it's frightening because we'll be uh, dealing with issues that are indeed uh, uh, amazingly important for our societies and the direction of our societies. 
Um, what are robots and AI enhanced entities? We're go going to uh, get into some definitional uh, areas. Of course, we're going to go beyond just uh, uh, the humanoid robots. We'll get into cyborgs, the fact that many of us are becoming part robots uh, by having our, our uh, 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 perhaps arms, various parts of our bodies replaced with robotics, uh, robotic entities which will provide all sorts of, of interesting issues in terms of violence. Uh, safety issues, bias issues, well-being issues, yes, they are growing in terms of these technologies. But I think one of the more dangerous aspects are the opportunistic uses of the trauma that's associated with robots. And uh, uh, trigger warnings will be coming, okay? I'll try, to, I'll try to, to warn you, but if you have uh, uh, fears of robotic images, and some people do, we'll be discussing that, uh, please uh, uh, just be warned. Avert your eyes. Now, we've got uh, uh, human-robot tensions in labor negotiations. We've got human-robot tensions in the way we set up our, organiz our, our organizations for security and policing. Uh, so, again, uh, if we use these tensions that are associated with robots, these fears, the trauma that's associated with robots in opportunistic ways, we are indeed using robots in a violent manner. Now, what is violence? I'm going to try to uh, respect the, the conference themes and, and do my best here. Uh, we're going to be changing with robots and, and autonomous vehicles and AI. Uh, the level of, of certainty and risk and determinacy, we're going to make things more indeterminate, of course, uncertain and risky, uh, as opposed to guns and knives. You shoot a gun, yeah, uh, it goes in a particular direction, you use a knife. But with robots, we're not sure as to how these entities work. Okay, as somebody who designs them, there are so many factors involved. Uh, and of course, uh, the people who are utilizing robots, sometimes for the first time, can be unsure as to how they are utilized. And so the, the title of my next book, uh, Robot Roulette, Roulette and AI Hitman, uh, again, will we'll be uh, uh, reflecting some of these uncertainties that can be enjoyable for some people, unfortunately, as we'll discuss. Now, uh, there are those eroding distinctions, as I mentioned, between robots and humans, which will make all of this more important for us. And I'll be saying something that I hope will be uh, provocative to people, that we should start thinking of having hate crimes related to the uh, the uh, uh, some of the anti-robotic uh, moves that people have, uh, the anti-robotic violence, because we are increasingly becoming cyborgs. And there are, as I related in my workshop paper, which I hope some of you will have the opportunity to look at, um, the uh, the uh, uh, incidents where humans mistake each other for robots and relate negatively to the robot-like characteristic of other humans in, in extremely violent ways. We have the documentation that, that's emerging. Now, also with robots, we'll be seeing the, the notion of frictionless, victimless violence in movies, video games, and battle bots. A lot of my interest in this area was generated during the uh, pandemic when uh, watching all the Netflix uh, and other streaming services uh, videos on violence, uh, many of which are directed toward children um, that show robots being utilized in violent ways. Now, battle bots we'll talk about in a few minutes. We have in, in uh, the UK and the US, uh, many schools that have robot smashing competitions. Uh, uh, again, this violent imagery getting pumped into, into in individuals. We'll have examples of that coming up shortly. What, it, what level should we be talking about? I've been told by my, my uh, uh, friends who are social scientists to be conscious of this. Are we dealing with mobs? We, we again, are not seeing the organized anti-AI, anti-robotic, uh, efforts. I've I've got some listed in the in the uh, um, conference paper, and I also will talk about one or two later if we have time. But we aren't seeing the extinction rebellion sorts of efforts, which I'm I'm hoping to interact with later on 
uh, with the wonderful paper that uh, is going to be presented later on on climate-related violence, even though some of the efforts we're, we'll be seeing are seen as being destructive to humanity, uh, AI as being, as, as being a humanity destroyer, as we'll be seeing uh, shortly. Uh, but we have military efforts, commercial efforts, individuals we are buying and dealing with robots in our homes, many of us, to mow our lawns and uh, clean our floors, etc. But more importantly, in our dreams, uh, we can't help but have the imagery that is being pumped into us about violence and robots somehow affect us. And again, again, the social scientists and the psychologists in the room, please help us here. Are we be, being reprogrammed or even brainwashed in terms of these violent entities? I, let, let's, let's, do, let's discuss. Now, my book, please, if you're interested at all, don't buy it. Uh, email me. I've been told by my, my, my uh, wonderful uh, Springer folks that I can give uh, uh, copies, PDFs, to uh, individuals who would like to take a look. Uh, but we just, just to, to, to take a few paragraphs, uh, that were, were, were uh, utilized in another publication. Uh, we're nearing 100 years of robotics. Uh, we're dealing with something that emerged in full force in 1923 with uh, an amazing play and related uh, societal uh, offsprings. Um, RUR, Rossum's Ross, Ross, Universal Robots. We've got um, uh, the robotic character a lot. The word, word robot coming from forced uh, labor, and of course, my, I am, I'm Slavic, uh, a, a, a Slavic word for forced labor. Uh, what we've got uh, now is a, a world that is getting uh, saturated with robotics. Uh, this is a little paper that I got published in Change Management. I'm bringing this up because some of you might want to publish in this area, and I'm praying you do. Uh, but I sent this off to uh, 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 violence related uh, to a violence related journal, a, a, a well known violence related journal, and got told that no one wanted to review papers on robots and violence. This was about three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. Uh, since then, I'm hoping that people were more interested. I did get it published uh, in a, in a uh, 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 change management journal, uh, but uh, it's, it's still emerging as a field. Now, now, think of it as an imagery. One has this incredible uh, society that's filled with, with all sorts of tension. And on top of this, we drop these entities, these robots, these intelligent uh, uh, entities. Of course, there will be increased um, uh, uh, forms of, 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 of violence, tension, trauma, and all that. It's our job right now to try to unpack this. This, this, this paper is special to me because I was trying to highlight all the deaths, the, the, the carnage that's in modern workplaces because of robots, uh, arms, arms loss on, on the part of, of human beings because they didn't understand what the robotic uh, movements would be and all that. So this paper focused on violence by robots onto individuals. My, my workshop paper, of course, uh, for those of you who read it, I'm saying, of course, uh, focused more on people attacking robots, okay, humans attacking robots, rage against robots. So a lot of what I'm going to be talking about deals with that rage against robots and how to under understand that. And this article unpacks that if I don't have time uh, uh, today or tomorrow, or if, if you email me, I, we can converse uh, this notion of hate crimes uh, somehow being, being elicited as a way to identify uh, the types of crimes that are robot related, that are robot hatred. Uh, why are we concerned about this? Because it's happening. Uh, uh, people are brutally assaulting robots. Uh, I got to know this issue very personally when I was giving a, a mundane lecture on robots and, and, and different kinds of robots for, for facilities. Uh, and I got scared because people were telling me, gosh, those robots that you're talking about they won't even last a week or two in, in, in their organizations because people will bend the, bend the antenna or put gum over the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, lens of the robots and they'll be made uh, incapable of working or, or perhaps uh, sabotage in some way. 
uh, so that they would hurt other people. And I, I, I didn't understand this because here are these cute robots that my students work so hard at putting together and they are getting sabotaged in organizations. This isn't studied enough. We don't have the data here, okay? Uh, I, I, I collect as much as I can. I, I cajole people for the data. We need efforts to find out who's doing what. Uh, and this is in an era where we're getting told that AI will enslave us. Of course, uh, those of you who are checking your newsfeed uh, regularly see all those articles about AI uh, somehow being a, uh, um, uh, a scourge upon humanity and somehow uh, destroying humanity at a larger level. Uh, uh, another level of violence that we were talking about, we had those marvelous lectures early on uh, telling us about the many kinds of violence. Uh, uh, this, this would be a pervasive uh, violence against humanity as a whole. Uh, but uh, in all of this, we have the, the, the notion of violence at work, uh, perhaps related to burnout and job security. I have a list of the many different kinds of reasons why people in workplaces uh, uh, documented reasons with with whatever literature I could find uh, are people why people are turning against robots in in their workplaces, um, uh, and also just at a lower level here, this little cute robot. Okay, uh, people are attacking these food delivery robots as they bring lunch to to uh, uh, hungry hungry people. Uh, they are they are very sweet little robots. There's lots of ways to gum this up and to make it a traffic hazard. I like to bring up this as an instance because there are ways to send this little robot, uh, confuse it, so it will basically cause cause a, 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 a catastrophe in a in a in a, a, a crowded uh, uh, thoroughfare. So again, even though some people love robots, uh, Starship robots making delivery food deliveries uh, at George Mason University. We still have people who are using them in aggressive ways, and we're filling the world with security robots now uh, that are also being uh, uh, confused in, in, in various ways and, and, and uh, sabotaged in various ways, as well as doing their duties to uh, uh, report various instances and, uh, and in some cases provide directions as well. Now, let's talk for a couple of minutes about a very famous of a kind of, of uh, robotic uh, terror, uh, Metropolis. This was a, a, a book that was written by a woman, uh, Thea von Herbo, uh, and it was turned into an amazing movie. Uh, she, she also wrote the, wrote, wrote the film script, but it's, the movie is usually associated with Fritz Lang, the, very, the uh, noted uh, uh, director. Um, there was a, a, I don't want to be, a, a, to have the spoiler, um, spoilers uh, for this movie because it's something you, that you should watch again, noting that there are many, many, many of uh, things that might be triggering you. Uh, there's a mix-up between uh, a wonderful, spiritually pure woman, uh, Maria, and the, the evil Maria robot uh, that uh, uh, harkens those themes we were just talking about, about people mistaking robots uh, for uh, people and and inflicting damage possibly on them. Now here, oh, I should have given you another uh, 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 trauma alert, uh, trigger alert here, alert here. We've got these uh, uh, red eyes, uh, a, a robot that is uh, re designed to be terrifying. Uh, we've got that basic trauma of being displaced as the dominant species. Uh, interlopers or invaders akin to uh, being uh, the, the trauma people feel as they are being displaced by migrant workers, etc., an emerging form of forms of terror related to this uh, these uh, phenomena. Now we've got uh, a history of these robots. Uh, this is from uh, from the 1950s. Uh, Robbie the robot who killed. I mean, this this robot in the in the various dramas was very capable of killing, choking uh, uh, individuals but also is designed in that very soft, uh, rubbery uh, fashion that made it occasionally a hero, a friend, as well as uh, a killer. Uh, again, um, robots that are entering our dreams, our lives in this uh, 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 very traumatic way. Uh, stories that are, are punching out of, uh, of the news media 
uh, chess playing robot that uh, uh, breaks a kid's finger during uh, during a, a violent mid match. Uh, now think about what a, a person might feel about this who's involved in seeing this happen. Is there some consciousness in this robot that has somehow uh, manifested itself in this violent behavior? People are thinking about this uh, in serious ways and writing about this in serious ways, that consciousness is somehow poured into computers. Now, I've been programming computers uh, since 1969, my first program, and I, I don't see my consciousness getting poured into programs. I see lines of code, et cetera, so I'm not the person to be talking about these imageries, but it's coming out of, again, thinking about robotics. Now, we have... Uh, Sophia, uh, many of you know that uh, there's a Saudi Arabian, Arabian uh, citizen, uh, Sophia the robot, who has more rights than many of the women there. Uh, and the UN played along for some reason, uh, the first non-human to be given a UN title. Uh, so we're beginning to humanize these entities. And what does this real? How does this relate to the themes of of, of violence? Uh, uh, the the amazing book Our Capitalism, which I learned so much from, that was jo Joanne. Know, one the, one minute, please. Okay, which was in some of the introductory materials. Of course, uh, I'm talking about Gore Robotics. Now, I promised a, a, some notion of notions of these battle bots. We have uh, 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 robots that are trained to attack each other, to do destroy each other, and young very uh, supposedly very brainy young people who, who spend much of their youths designing better you know, ro robots to attack each other. So we have uh, the, the notion of robots as uh, promoting violence in a, in a nearly frictionless and uh, uh, though traumatic way uh, for many of the observers. I'm uh, listening to people during these, these uh, 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 robotic contests can be very disturbing. Uh, and of course, uh, we're dealing with uh, uh, nothing. Nothing happens that's important that can't be captured on YouTube, of course. And in terms of of these uh, uh, social uh, media of, of, of formats, uh, the the uh, uh, YouTube of, of, of uh, censors have been flagging these robot battle videos for animal cruelty. We're getting to the point at which uh, we're we're promoting violence in terms of robots in these absurd ways, uh, using uh, uh, these uh, uh, robo-dogs, uh, uh, attaching guns to them, uh, and of course, uh, uh, providing a, a, a variety of forms of human expression with robots, uh, but, uh, and, and stories, and integrating them into our lives, but not fully, perhaps, understanding the, the uh, uh, amazing uh, uh, reasons why we should be concerned about uh, 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 the, the violence that, that is part of uh, their development. Uh, just as a question to leave us all with, uh, I haven't seen yet uh, the organized type of, of, of opposition to this that we, we, we see with the climate uh, uh, movements. Uh, some, some very small opposition is happening. We have some groups uh, that have targeted sex robots and all of that um, uh, and, and, and worked along those lines. But uh, I'm wondering if this is the next stage, mob action against robots. But again, we have seen a number of different types of, of anti-robot violence. Please take a look, at, if you can, of my paper or ask me for any of those other uh, materials that I have. Uh, and uh, uh, take, take a look at the di different kinds of anti-robot attacks by individuals which have been uh, a part of news media uh, in some small ways but are increasingly uh, uh, providing problems for uh, uh, the manufacturing concerns and uh, educational concerns and other uh, organizations that need to, uh, to mitigate them. So thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to your questions. You might need to repeat the questions because it's difficult sometimes to hear uh, the, the questions uh, uh, from the field. So thank you very much.